like to be naked, Billy. Do what you're told. We got our computer up and running. It's it's amazing. It's wonderful. I wanted to take a moment right from the beginning to thank everyone, first of all, for helping us get within a week to 69% of our overall goal. Pervs. Uh, I'm, I'm going to keep the fundraiser up because I want to make more upgrades to the computer. I'm using some parts from the old computer. I'd like to upgrade the GPUs eventually. Um, a lot of the other stuff that I salvaged, like old hard drives and the power supply, those were perfectly good. So no need to update those, but GPUs are expensive. So hopefully we'll get to our goal and then I'll upgrade those too. And then we'll have like this amazing machine, uh, cutting edge machine. We, we have a new processor. It's a 13th gen I nine. I can already tell it's doing the job. And I, I, I want to thank, uh, someone who goes by nod narb. For spending hours in a call with me over two days, kind of holding my hand while I put this thing together. Thank you, Brandon. Yeah, so thank you. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, there were certain things I couldn't have done on my own. There, When you hook up the buttons on the case to the motherboard... There's these, there's like all these little pins and you have to find exactly where the one wire with the one little plastic clip pinhole goes. It was not, uh, yeah, it was, it was what it was, but yeah, we're, we're back. We're back, uh, at full capacity. Once again, thank you, everybody. Give the stream a like. And, uh, also just a quick reminder, we do a, a short pre-show before the mainstream to give you a little extra content to incentivize you to listen to the audio feed of the show. The last several episodes have that. Today's episode will have a little, little one. Not really that long, but the other ones are like 10, 20 minutes long. So you should go check that out. I, I provided some links. You can do it through any place you can get audio podcasts. So yeah, you, check you, that out. You really have to check out today's episode. You won't believe how short it was. It was very short. It was like a minute and a half long. You have to hear it to believe it. Yeah, because I was still setting up some stuff. Um, but yeah, it's it's looking good now. Everything's looking A-OK. And I'm, I'm watching things run. Everything looks good. I'm watching the stream. I'm actually streaming at a way higher bit rate than I was before. Um, With the uh, internet connection? or Yeah, I mean, like, I, I decided to, because I was always uh, streaming at, uh, like, 2,500. Crank it up. So now it's cranked up. It's, like, double that. 1,000. 1,000! One, 1, um, yeah. Uh, we're back. Let's do this. And we can finally have guests back on. We'll start having guests again. I feel like it was forever, but it was just one like treacherous, treacherous week where we had to do all the shows on that really old computer. I'm glad that we have the computer. Uh, I Yeah, feels good. Um, 
A, a, a few things did transpire during uh, our, our little hiatus that we'll get into. I watched the Elvis movie last night. How was that? It was all right. It was really sad, though. I woke up and I heard uh, Lisa Marie had a heart attack. Lisa Marie Presley, yeah. Yeah, I, I, I feel believe, like it's partially my fault. I, I believe she's... Uh, I believe she's passed on. She did pass. Yeah. I, See, I didn't hear that. But part. I don't know. So I, I, I know don't she know. was in intensive care. Uh huh. That's heartbreaking. So we are going to um, we're going to get into it right now, and we're going to start with antagonism. Here we go. See, I even got these things back. Wow. Turn off the goddamn internet! Oh, don't touch me! Don't touch me! TPO, they're gonna touch me! Ryan being the one with bad news. Yeah. Passed away. That was Egghead. Just in case anyone wasn't sure. I listened Egghead. to the audio version of the show to hear all the parts I miss while paying more attention to the chat. <laughs> That's <laughs> another thing! Absolutely. Um, That's the way I'm my brother and Billy and my Benil son. I hope you all are doing well. And BTW Billy or Ben, could you check my channel out sometime whenever you can? Can I be a guest? Check me out, baby smile. Check me out, baby, baby smile. smile? I still haven't called? checked you out yet. I need to do that. Um, thank you. Thank you. Wow. That, that, was the, that was a little tip train, like a just an unannounced random tip train that happened. Thank a you. flood of support. Thank you for that. Uh, w all right. Let's check this out because we've been asking when this was going to happen. Uh, Baked Alaska got convicted and sentenced. He got a misdemeanor. He got a light sentence. People can speculate on why they think that is. Let's watch the story and then we'll talk about it. Fight for Trump! Fight for Trump! Fight for Trump! We got over 10,000 people live watching. Let's go! But yeah, it's always me with the bad news. It is. Bad news, eh? It was this live stream video on January 6th that helped land a man known as Baked Alaska. Alaska, a 60-day prison sentence, a $2,000 fine, and two years probation. I so, so yeah, and we'll 60 get his days comments. in prison? Yeah, that's all he's getting. That's a, that's a good amount. That's two months. Uh, I, yeah, I, I think this is part of his plea deal, which he almost went back on, which was ridiculous. So, yeah, it was probably like, yeah, two months in prison, uh, Two years probation. The probation should include stay off the internet. <laughs> it because, probably won't, but because he did this because of the streaming, like he wouldn't have been there otherwise if he wasn't trying to get content. They might want to keep him on the internet if he's still uh, an informant for the FBI. Here's um, here's his commentary on it. I believe people should have a right to speak freely uh, as long as they're being peacefully. I was peaceful that day. Uh, was I a little rambunctious? It wasn't that you weren't allowed to speak. You weren't allowed to be in that building, in those offices, without permission. Uh, you were one of hundreds of people running around in there when you shouldn't be. So that's the problem. It, it has nothing to do with you not being able to speak freely. But was he being a little rambunctious? A little? I mean, he wasn't one of the worst people. There's no videos of him assaulting cops or anything like that, but... Uh, he shouldn't have been in there. He's getting the slap on the wrist that I would expect I would get if I ran around in there. He made it all the way into Nancy Pelosi's office. He was messing with the phone yeah, and all you, that. You can't act like you just accidentally walked into the uh, illegal corridor. You you marched all the way in. Sure. His real name, Tim Gianette. Hello, U.S. Senate. Yes, we have a fraudulent election. He's trying to be funny. He's trying to make, like, like I think he's a douchebag. But I don't even think he genuinely believes what he talks about. He found a, a niche that had some spaces to fill, and he got swallowed up in it, and that's what he does now. Uh, and I, he let it he let it take him too far into it. Like his quest for the next big content whale. It, it led him here. He's always been a cloud-chasing tryhard. Yeah. I would like to report, yeah, we need to get our boy Donald J. Trump into office. He pleaded guilty to a lesser charge of unlawfully protesting at the U.S. Capitol. Remember that BuzzFeed video that was like, if I was gay, who I would date? And 
all the other guys picked manly men and he picked Justin Bieber. <laughs> <laughs> I look at this picture right now. This does not look like the picture of a guy who committed uh, acts against our country. Looks more like maybe a, a meth head. I or, think this is an older mugshot. Or a sex offender. Yeah. But this wasn't the first time Giannette had... Alaska has an IQ of below 85, so I'm sure he'll inevitably be getting himself in serious trouble again within two years. How about this those two... probably emboldened him. How about those two months while he's in jail getting himself into trouble? I wonder what jail he'll be locked up in. I don't know. I, I, I thought it was a federal offense, so I would think he'd go to a federal prison, but it's only a couple months. I don't know how that all works. Live-streamed criminal activity. He had done it multiple times in Arizona just a month before the January 6th riot. Giannette was convicted of vandalizing a menorah display at the Arizona Capitol and found guilty of pepper spray. Why do people think I'm anti-Semitic? Spraying an employee at a Scottsdale bar. Both of those incidents happened in December of 2020, less than a month before the U.S. Capitol riot. Giannette was eventually sentenced to 30 days in jail for the Scottsdale assault. Because of his past, the judge in this federal case said, quote, You live-streamed your criminal conduct to thousands of followers, hoping they would pay you for your actions. You repeatedly streamed your crimes. That is, a Yeah, his fine is about equal to the cash he made in donos during this oh, time. Really? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Very troubling vocation, sir. I didn't know I was doing anything unlawful, I say that honestly. Uh yeah, I'm sure you didn't know because you're an imbecile. I think he's lying because there were like cops being like, don't go in here. And there were cops like pepper spraying people. At certain points, there was also cops that were just like allowing it to go through because they didn't because want to, they didn't want to get beat up by yeah. because they were outnumbered. Yeah, so I, I think it all would depend on like watching a stream, probably be able to tell if he's lying or not the whole the whole way through. Right. I think he's lying. <laughs> I think he's a liar. Um, obviously, if I knew that, I wouldn't have done it. Another Arizona rioter, Jacob Chansley, known as the QAnon shaman. Maybe made the only bigger douchebag than Baked Alaska there. And he got hit harder. He's doing years. Um, I I don't know if it was because he went into the chambers or... Because I, I feel like he was just being a, like an eccentric douchebag. And he probably didn't um, turn on anybody like Baked Alaska likely has. Probably. National headlines after being sentenced to 41 months in prison for his involvement. So Baked Alaska has turned on someone, though. Eventually, his testimony would be required to convict said people. <laughs> Much shorter than Baked Alaska's. Why? They pled to different things. And one of them <laughs> pled to a misdemeanor <laughs> and the other pled to a felony. So that's the primary difference. Man, what an idiot. Why would you plead to a, a felony when you could just plead to a misdemeanor? That makes Baked Alaska look like a genius. Yeah. <laughs> well, didn't that QAnon shaman's lawyer wasn't the, his best defense was like, my client is regarded, yeah. basically. The lawyer called him the R word. <laughs> I love that. Former federal prosecutor Mark Kokanovich says it comes down to what charges people plead guilty to. Kokanovich. I can't think of a, a more beautiful mix of like cocaine and Slavic right there. Hmm. Kokanovich. Two, if they go to trial and how good their defense attorneys are. That's Slavic for cocaine user. Kokanovich says there are still plenty I was of people. Like Coca Cola can. Like a Coke can of it involved that day who have not gone to trial yet or still await sentences. It's the and he says it will take a refreshes. long time to get through all of that, primarily because of the overwhelming amount of evidence in each of these cases. You've got cell phone pictures. And Does Big Alaska go to like those eyebrow salons? His eyebrows look like they've been stylized. Yeah, he probably does. Oh, God. But do you think that taking care of your eyebrows might be a way of signaling uh, other males that you're. In, into man on man love probably they look they look like stenciled on in the 90s if you dyed your hair blonde that was like a, a, a signal that you were homosexual if you had one earring what was yeah, it the left they had, ear they had or all right the, little, the little tags so that you could easily get fun boyed if you wanted it and uh, I don't know, I, I, maybe he's into the fun boy culture. Videos, surveillance With camera Justin footage Bieber. from the Capitol, and more. So there's just a whole lot to sort through in these cases. Uh, absolutely. I Defies can't even credulity we're... that he didn't know he was doing anything illegal going into the Capitol. Right. But, hmm. but that's what he says. I do believe he's that stupid. 
Whether or not he uh, is lying about that, I'm not going to argue because I also think he's a big liar. But I do believe he's that stupid. He is stupid. I'll I'll agree with you there. Um, so I don't know. Now that you mentioned it, I think. The sentence does kind of fit. Does this the, mean the eventually pleadial? there's going to be some Brazilian version of baked Alaska that rats out everyone else? I, I don't know. Is that is Am that I the missing plan? something? I don't know. Is there a Brazilian, Brazilian capital takeover that's going on right now? And there just happens to be an eye. It's funny. There are like Brazilian versions of YouTubers that are really famous like in Brazil. Izzy? Yeah. yeah. Like really famous in Brazil. And then yeah, I had no idea. Like I, crossover. I had a couple meals with Izzy and I had no idea he was famous. Like was it Izzy Nobre? Yeah. 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 He was a nice guy. I like I'll meet like all types of YouTubers. Like, yeah, Big I'm like the Alaska, number one. Nick Fuentes and Ethan Ralph full unregarded idiots. Ah, there's our, there's so many more too. Like there's just a, a, a little smidgen of all the the idiots that are is, involved. Is Ralph actually in Mexico and like hiding there? I I never followed up on that. I remember hearing the rumors and the certificate, but I never really looked into that. Yeah, supposedly. I I don't know. I mean, in a way, that makes him smarter than the other ones. <laughs> I mean, when you think about it. But he also got his ass beat twice in the same place the first time was way worse than the second time though like uh ethan ralph got like a serious like face disfiguring beat down we've seen him take some punches and not get knocked out but i'm almost certain he got knocked out that time because he got like he, he had the face yeah, of the someone first, who had got who had gotten stomped the first one they stole his purse and put it up on uh, ebay or something yeah and was they that? stomped his face in yeah uh it it yeah it's so. terrible when you get beat up and they steal your purse. <laughs> like, that's really like the the pinnacle of stolen manliness. It was a Gucci purse. Yeah, they they didn't just mollywop you. They didn't just knock your noggin. They stole your purse. Yeah, that's cold. Um, what is this? I wonder if the U.S. led this uh, capital storm in Brazil. So was it successful or not? T-Bob asked Virtuous Spartan to take the Trumpster Bob butthole challenge. Interesting. I don't know who Virtuous Spartan is, but we'll check it out. Uh, so Michael, who is a notorious L.A. Spartan, uh, <laughs> a, a bunch of people wanted me to ask you this question. A bunch of people, meaning nobody else but me. Would you be willing to take the Trumpster Bob butthole challenge or not? What? <laughs> this is a little something I came up with years ago to answer. I love, I love how he like brands it. It's not the just the butthole challenge. It's the Trumpster Bob butthole. He should change it to Trumpster Bob's butthole challenge. Yeah, like there's those guys that are so proud of like their barbecue sauce. They get a little home yeah. brew batch. They're like, this is J. Billy R. Billy Joe's super sauce, and they, they're really proud of it. Bob was just really proud of his looking a butthole ability. He can call it Trumpster Bob's butthole challenge, mm. you know, mm. or Trumpster Bob presents mm. the butthole challenge. A question. You're a real creepy fucker to ask something like that. <laughs> Degenerate level is like that, brother. Yeah, yeah, you almost have to be. But the question asked me was. I love how he's like, yeah, yeah, you almost have to be. But but he's he loves to reroute conversations. He, uh, he, he likes to do that. Well, let me ask you this. It's like, no, we were just talking about something else. So now he's he's kind of doing that right now. Well, go the, ahead. the topic at the time was like this. In the Catholic churches and in our colleges and schools today, there seems to be a huge problem with this. Uh, listen, you got to listen. All right, all right, do it. Just listen to what I'm telling you because I'm going to teach you something. Go ahead. So uh, how would you reduce the sex crimes being committed in our, our schools and in these Catholic sorry, churches since it's so fucking high? And my answer to that was, well, if you make it a law that in both the church and uh, you just at a federal this, level, you know, you, if you're going to be hired around kids, you got to ha you got to pass the butthole challenge. So he wants it to be mandatory. If you're going to be hired around kids, yeah. 
You got to pass the butthole challenge. And Bob just happens to volunteer as the official inspector. I'm just, just like, I'd never really thought about this before. If you're into kids, are you the bottom if they have to check your butthole? Is he saying that yeah. the kids are doing all the damage to these adult buttholes? Apparently. I don't get this, yeah. this, this line of thinking from Bob at all. I think according to Bob, if you like it one way, you like it the other way, too. So, uh, But he should also probably, like, we should inspect their peckers for fecal matter, too. Definitely. So let's add that on, too. And Bob wants to do both. Bob is volunteering as the first person to inspect all buttholes and, and, and pee-pees for fecal matter. A little peek and sniff? Yeah, yep. That would get rid of 90% of your fucking sexual uh, uh, degenerates. Okay. Can I tell you what my philosophy is on that? And they wouldn't be around kids. How is this guy now feeling like it's... Well, hold up, okay, Bob. I got a philosophy. Can I tell you my philosophy? <laughs> Like, is that what you got out of this conversation? Is it it's your turn to give your two cents? Between Bob's penny for your thoughts and your two cents, you guys got about enough money to buy a half a stick of bubble gum. He's crying by 80%. So now we got you jumping. Or an ice cream sandwich. But in the Ooh, community, yeah. you're, you're very you're very a complex person. And, and people, <laughs> sure people got all kinds of opinions about you, good and bad. And so the question and the challenge put to you <laughs> is, would you be the next contestant on the Trump's to Bob Butthole Challenge? And it's pretty simple. You just pull your pants you know, down, you bend over to the camera, you back up to it, and you, and, and you split this your butt cheeks open. <laughs> okay, listen to me. And everybody like gets to see if your butthole is intact. <laughs> is intact? What does that mean? Uh, intact. I mean, it's not intact. It's a hole. Yeah. <laughs> it's both W-H-O-L-E and H-O-L-E at the same time. Yes. If it, was in, if it wasn't intact, it might not be W-H-O-L-E. No, no. It, it, it might, you know, it might be like severed, Ugh. you know? If you sever it too much, it might not be either hole. It might be smithereens. I would not, yeah, if you're dealing with smithereens, you might want to see a physician. Crazy, or if man. you got on that butthole like three to five right times the size of a normal size butthole. <laughs> okay, brother. Okay, I, I see where you're, you're trying to get sensational. You want a little uh, reaction. No, listen, no. Brother. Are you willing to prove you're straight, man? Or are you willing to admit that you're gay? <laughs> okay. Or by um, I got to admit, man. There's an admission? The little Spaniard, like the way he had that big homosexual suck in his dick one time. I don't know what I you're live. talking about. That's yeah. where you live? What? Did you Which say that's where you... Don Quixote, was he reading? Does you live? Don Quixote. I don't like it. Where the, the little Ain't Spaniard no had the big uh, Mexican suck in his dick all the time? No, no, you, you're not listening while you're talking like a dick. Okay, Bob, well, Trumpster Bob's not listening to a conversation and just talking about butthole challenges. What? What, what is this? Tell us, tell us your side of who you, you are. No, no, wait, wait. You got to listen correctly first of all. I'm not like. I feel like this picture was taken before Bob's face broke out with all the like lesions and shit. Uh, he is. Pleb chat user Lil Piss Baby says it's not really a hole. More like a chute or a tunnel. You can definitely get it blown out or open. Well, LOL. your anus is the hole and then like the I mean it becomes a chute and a tunnel and then if you go yeah. far enough you're in your intestines. Is a door a hole? You know? Like, if you go into a room, is that door a hole into the room? It's a hole in the wall, in my opinion. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I'm trying to listen to you with the Latino wait, accent wait, wait. here. Shut up, you fucking little bitch. <laughs> you want me listen to turn to you me. into a bitch? I could do that. What? <laughs> I would love, I would love, I would love to be your huckleberry, little fucker. Oh, you how, my how did this get more gay? After they got done talking about looking at the buttholes. I think they got turned on. This and, is. This yeah. is some uh, latent homosexual activity. 
Huckleberry, I'll have you on a fucking leash wrapped around your nuts. <laughs> Come to Hollywood, brother. Come, come sauntering with these little fuckers, and I, I will, I will catch you with this sheep. Yeah, that, that wouldn't be no problem. I got a couple of videos out there. I can show you one. Somebody, well, hey, hey, well, hold on. I'll tell you who. Wait a minute. Let me tell you who. I can tell you who can share that link with you. Hold on. Is uh, John Miles. Could you imagine Trumpster Bob in West Hollywood wearing nothing but a fucking American flag speedo? I want him to have a tube top on too. Yeah, that could and work. a pair of high heels. See, now you're just dressing him up. I am. He's going to he's gonna make his way around to West Hollywood with a lot of money. Yeah, he'll be walking funny. Send him that link where uh, uh, I'm gonna fucking Mark, Mark Cruz showed up at the house here. Show him that Come video. On. On. I'm definitely on. not afraid of you, but we're going to show you a little fight I video. Got Oh I my guess, God! I guess I guess He's gonna it. use that Mark Connors video as like proof he can fight. <laughs> Nothing happened. If he just cuts it off after he like charges Mark, it'd be like badass. Bow, bow. He like he threw a cheap shot at Mark, and Mark like got him into like a hold, and then they ended up on the ground, and then it got broken up. Like nothing yeah. happened. Most fights get broken up, right? You either destroy somebody or somebody <clears throat> comes in and says, okay, boys, stop this. Something better than the fight. He had a clean surprise shot and nothing happened. I got fucking the sword. And uh, nobody a cares about all of that. Man. Nobody and cares. Like, no, look, look, whoa, nobody whoa, cares whoa, whoa, about wait, that. Wait, wait, wait. Nobody cares house, about, about that. About. Nobody cares that's about that. About. Nobody well, cares about, about that. Man, this is my new debate tactic. Nobody cares about that. Nobody cares about that. Nobody cares no, about that. Street, I care Bob. about WeHo Bob. Nobody cares. Fight with, the fit, with the fist. Okay, we're well, in the fist. Yesterday. We'll talk about I that. Now, if you I want did, to talk about I coming did. to my house, no, I'm going to fist with you. In the inner city to. of L.A., motherfucker, you have nothing on me. I love this. Come to where I live. No, you come to where I live. I'll kick your ass. No, you come to where I live, and I'll kick your ass. It's so dumb. It's some Joseph Martelli type shit. I will beat the shit out of you, you little hillbilly punk. No, you won't. No, you won't. No, you won't. I bet you I can whoop your fucking ass. You're on, you're on moonshine. Man. And I bet you I can whoop your fucking ass. Okay, you're about 163. It doesn't man, matter. Man, it like, doesn't like matter. It doesn't five, matter. Nine. No, he's not okay. even 5'9". He's not even 5'5", five, five, right? I don't. Didn't I it say it five been four? Six. Uh -huh. it might have been five four, five six. I thought it was like five. He four. just said he was six foot two originally, and so when I saw his height, it was like, oh, he's he's a, a liar. <laughs> everything, what a everything Bob ever said, I took verbatim as the truth up until that point. Oh, you're shit. five nine. You ain't shit. You ain't shit. You're about what I'm one sixty, one eighty. You're not I'm, about I'm nothing. One, I'm six three. I'm six three. So what? You're yeah. slinky fuck. I'll beat the uh, fuck I'm out about, of you. <laughs> he doesn't lie anymore because of the police report, you know, they measured him. One eight three. Yeah, okay. Pounds. Okay, big fucking deal. Go watch a video. Five five one eighty is what people are saying in the chat. So yeah, I laughed because I remember him saying he was six two or whatever. Video me whooping a guy that's one eighty six. I don't give a fuck what you want to do. We can do it anytime. He's like, I got a video of me whooping a guy that's 186. <laughs> so Mark, Mark is he talking Connors? about Mark Connors? I, I think so. Mark Connors is a fake karate guy. It's not like first of all, Bob didn't do shit to him. He had a he had a clean shot, like a surprise shot on him. He had the first shot, and then nothing happened. Uh, and Mark Connors is like a bullshit mall karate guy that uses it to like get near young kids as students apparently because i'm slated to uh, i think at least it wants to invite me out there anyway so yeah you could definitely come oh, meet up there. i would you know what i hope it happens i would love i would love to see bob and elisa irl streaming bob only wants to stare into the dirt star of people he likes so if he asks you to take bob's original butthole challenge it means he likes you enough to check out your brown eye and make sure you all good he bob looked at joe's really butthole American. You know, I was there. He looked at Joe's butthole. It's the was... all-American brown peep. Yo, it's wherever we're at. Okay, let's send it out. Don't, don't get too carried away. Send a plane ticket. Send a... Okay, now it's doing the... Well, I'll come out there, but you got to pay for me. Send me a plane wait, ticket. Wait, 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 wait a minute. 
Just fucking throttle back, motherfucking hillbilly punk, and let's fucking do okay, this. Okay, you right. California quarter. Okay, wait, wait. Let's Why is his audio so messed up? The other guys isn't doing that. Let's do this right, okay? Just rationalize, right? Yeah, we can rationalize it easy. Wait, wait, shut the fuck up, punk. No, you shut the fuck oh, up, God. bitch. No, listen to me. I will have listen you suck a dick on the side of L.A. Okay, curb, motherfucker. You can say, uh, whatever you can say, whatever I'll you bet want, you that. We're going to do it at a physical level. Yeah, okay, we're going to actually wait, do wait, this wait, in real wait, life. Wait, I'm going to turn wait, you wait. in to a street side hooker that oh, will suck man, well, dick. That's what I wanted to turn Bob into. That's what the crop top was for. Yeah. Oh, yeah, man, man motherfucker. I, I've seen people That's what I'm telling you. I didn't I'm think gonna... of Bob being like a prosy out there yeah. in West Hollywood. I was just thinking running around in a Speedo wearing nothing but his beard to yeah. cover his chesticles. I want him to keep the beard, but I want the tube top and the like hot pants and uh, we'll put him in some like high heels and maybe some fishnet stockings. Bob would you probably know. have a lot of fun as a West Hollywood gay. <laughs> Yeah. I'm going to turn you I in to a fucking homeless dick sucker level. You ain't humbling so nobody over here. You can end up whatever, being a bitch bro, on the side of the street now, sucking little dick little for $10 little a little pop. And I'm going to keep the $10 right in front of your fucking eye. <laughs> Bob's, Bob's like, and I'm going to keep the $10. I, I like how Bob is like saying this guy's going to suck one for 10 bucks, And then that Bob's going to be pimping him out. Could you imagine being a pimp and all you could get was ten bucks? I I I feel bad as a pimp. I'd be like, this is this isn't worth my time. Oh, no. I'm gonna keep that money. I guarantee you. I'm gonna have you suck your fucking dick on the side of the road. Now, what else you want to talk about? Now, what else you want to talk about? Okay, well, send me a plane ticket then. Send me a plane ticket. Somebody send him my address in private DM, please. <laughs> You send me a plane ticket to that address. See, now he laughs about it because it's just a joke to him. He don't. He's not serious about nothing. Why? Because he's just an attention getter. <laughs> he doesn't want, really want to fight anybody. Neither do you. Who have you fought? It's the attention he's going to get from it. He fought Mark Connors. That and he see, made the first move, nothing. too. It was hardly anything. Bob, Bob makes moves. So now he never answered the question when he takes the trunk for Bob Butto challenge. I love the brand. He sounded like he's a little scared of it, which tells me he's got a whole lot of something to hide. He stands by the butthole challenge so much that he puts his name on it. There's probably a circle R. There's next so many to it. butthole challenges out there. Don't get fooled by an off brand butthole <laughs> challenge. Make sure you got the Trumpster Bob's butthole challenge. TM circle R. Circle C. In the way of a man cave. So he sounds like he's really just a sissy bitch, homosexual to me. What I got to tell you. I got to tell you, when he wouldn't show straight, me his butthole, I thought for sure he was a man, homosexual. Man, fight anybody. Nobody gives a fuck if you'll fight another man or not. What we want to know is how blown out is your fucking booty hole. Why do you want to know? Motherfucker. If you can't prove it, then you ain't no fucking real man. A real man <laughs> prove it, that fucking You're not prove willing it. to show me your butthole on demand. You're not a real man. Nope. I like the idea but, that anybody who like takes stuff up their butt, like <laughs> that's that's the, the the cutting edge that Bob compares their masculinity. Like like oh you could you could you could be a deadbeat dad. You could be a a, a thief. You could be just like a. a be animals, but if your balls loose, we're done here. I, he seems to think that a butthole gets worn out quite easily. You got to train those things. Well, I mean they, I mean they don't, they don't normally get permanent damage. Uh, not without training. A little sissy bitch will run from this challenge every time. That already answers the question right there. So we already know for a fact that Mr. Michelangelo here, Veritas L.A. Spartan, has a blown out fucking booty hole. We know Damn. this automatically. I win by default here. 
Because I'll, I'll do mine the same time you do yours, the exact same time. Bend over, spread your butt cheeks, and let's see the goods. Let's the, see the, the goods. goods. Why would you call it I, the goods? I don't think the an official butthole challenge would refer to a butthole as the goods. The goods. I mean, if it was an official challenge, I'd be like, let's see the, let's see the results. Let's see the goods. Let's see the submission. Let's, let's see. Yeah, let's see your submission. I wonder how Bob feels about pegging. It's not gay if there's a woman attached to do it. I think that it's not about whether you're straight or gay. It's about whether you're a top or a bottom. That's really what it comes down to. If you like to be pegged, it doesn't matter who's doing it, as long as you're happy. And you can do this on my live stream with me. <laughs> Are you love, yeah, we could do it on my live stream if you want. Soon is opening yourself to the world so the world can tell if your butthole is intact or if you took a lot of dick up that ass or not. It's pretty simple. And if you got a blown out butthole, I mean, <laughs> there's not much reason for you to show up and take the test unless you were admitting to me and everybody <laughs> today. Refusal to take the test is an admission of guilt. Yeah, like if you have a blown out butthole, I could see why you wouldn't want to take the test. <laughs> also, showing Trumpster Bob your butthole for any reason makes I you can see why you wouldn't want to take the test. Right. So uh, the argument for both sides, I see zero incentive to show Trumpster Bob my butthole. No. Whether it's tight or not. Did you, you know, you got a man cave. Yeah, Freak a TV brings up a great point. What if it's blown out from smuggling drugs? Bob, you live terribly close to the border. If what you, if, I'm sorry for interrupting. If Bob had a loosey-goosey, he could probably make a lot of money walking in kilos. What if you're what if you're just like chronically constipated with massive poops all the time? That sounds like a horrible affliction. You should eat more fiber. Would that blow up blow out your butthole? And like it can give you hemorrhoids. That's a form of blowing out your butthole. Yeah, you should probably do something about that if, yeah. if you have that. I don't have that, but I'm just I'm trying to think of other scenarios where someone might fail the butthole challenge you know like if someone has chronic hemorrhoids and trumpster bob takes a peek at the goods he might see those big honking hemorrhoids in there is like man that butthole's blown out or if blown someone's out by turns if someone's collagen deficient and the elasticity of their skin does not this does not if it doesn't re, re mold every time <laughs> mold or maybe you know you were running a marathon you slip and fell on like nine pine cones and they all went up your butt like that's gonna do some damage you uh, once a pine cone goes in it doesn't come out that's a peace out pine cone they're designed that way pineapple it's, it's not yeah it's not good yeah the ridges only go one way yeah it's kind of like a chinese finger trap but it goes in your something instead yeah. of Something going in it. Yeah, you gotta like sit on some Ginsu knives. <laughs> what? What? Whoa! Whoa! Just give yourself a, a, a shredder, a slice. How much did Ginsu pay and dice. you? I, Ginsu. <laughs> Ginsu. Why, why was the knives branded? Ginsu has paired up with our friends at Melmac to give you a double <laughs> combo pack here tonight. Use code Silly Billy at checkout. Between your fucking butt cheeks. Now, if after that is a point in time you want to fight over something, let me know. Imagine but if Bob and Ralph got into a heated discussion, barking at each other over something like this. The symphony of draws would be heard around the world. <laughs> yeah, I wonder if there would be enough room for either of their like arguments to be in intelligible. No. I feel like they'd just be barking over each other. No, yeah, like, look at how Ralph was at the end of the Vosh episode. That's what you'd get from him, and then Trumpster Bob would just do the same thing, and they'd just be, like, screaming over each other. There'd really be no way to moderate it without muting one of them. So it's it, it, it would be funny, though, but it would probably get boring eventually because he wouldn't, it'd just be, like, nonsense. This is just a challenge that I offer everybody to see where their manhood's at. Because it takes a real man to pass this challenge. Does it? See. Because it takes an even bigger man to judge that challenge. You can't be a real man 
but you got a blown out butthole because at the end of the day, you're a fucking punk ass bitch. Doesn't matter how tough you are. Uh, I'd I mean, say it's probably, pretty tough to take things in your butt to the point where your butt's stretched out beyond repair. Right. That's 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 super tough, actually. Yeah. I couldn't do that. No. I wouldn't be tough at all if it came down to putting things on my butt. I'd be like, nope. Yeah. Nope. Um, I'm, I'm out. Nope. In uh, in Amsterdam, like in the red light district area, there's a lot of sex shops, like kink shops and shit. And I, when I walked through those, I saw all kinds of crazy stuff made to put in people's butts, and it was craziness. I'm like, that goes into a butt, you know? Did they like, just... charge you to put it in there? Like, is this a tea? No, a kettle? no, like, no. You just five bucks, and we'll put a teapot up our butt. That's not how it works. It's oh. just a store. Oh, like a sex deep, shop? a little bit. Yeah. Is there like a dildo cobbler there that makes there's them? all like like there's this crazy condom store that has all crazy different types of condoms and and stuff like that. And a lot of them sheepskin. Uh, I didn't look that close. I just kind of like walked around like, oh, cool. It's a big old condom store. And then the sex shops are funny because there's like sex dolls that have like big boobs and like a super long dick too. you know, all, all kinds of weird stuff down there. Here um, is some money. It was my birthday. You boys get to benefit. I want those Jinsu knives. The Jinsu's. Happy birthday, Honest Red. Happy birthday. Better than the next guy. You might be tough like that. But I don't give a fuck because I'm never going to be mouth fucking your ass. But I guarantee you, if you get that fucking rope tied around your fucking nuts, you're going to be my fucking slave. And if I tell you to suck a dick, you're going to suck a fucking dick. <laughs> I love how he's just like, too bad if you want to suck my dick. Yeah. This is gay. Like, this is very gay the uh, way he's talking. Yeah. Bob's like, never said anything that wasn't super gay. He's talking about looking at a guy's butthole and then fight, like, sex fighting him and then making him blow him. In some way, well, I don't like, know. If, I don't know if he said that he was going to make him blow him. Like he might have been making him blow other people for that ten dollars that he was going to take. <sighs> I know Bob doesn't have ten dollars to spend on blowjobs. He might be going for freebies. We don't know. If you don't, I'll just give him a little bit of a yank. About that far of a yank. That's all it's going to take for you have you screaming like a bitch. No, you, you can take. You can take my testicles off. <laughs> You take them all the way off. I'm going to murder you afterwards. No, this thing. What Here is he this is. music? This is the is Bob, that his ringtone? That's the Butthole Challenge theme song. <laughs> Tell me what you want. I hope it's not a lot. If you're there really loose, is. Is open that, that caboose. There you are. You're, you're on the screen now. I want to so, make amends with you. Well, we can make amends. Let's, Why, let's make up. Are they going to have makeup sex? Cool, but everybody wants to know if you'll take the butthole challenge or not. Wait, wait. Don't get perverted and weird like the little spastic hick <laughs> levels. Uh, just try to be cool with me. I'm, I'm going to be on, a, on, on, on like a Spartan level with you. I want you to have discipline, you little fucking barbarian uh. bitch. You're going to suck my dick soon. No, I'm not going to suck you. He just answered it. He is gay and he does have a blown out butthole. Because he wants men to suck his dick. So I know he's a faggot. So you definite 100%. Oh, no. motherfucker. You want attention, right? So he, you get attention getter, but he lost the bet already because he does have a blown out butthole. No. I think Bob is turned on by blown out buttholes. Or just buttholes in general. Male buttholes. I do it for entertainment for my own self. Yeah, it's entertainment. So what we can do is we can get you to fuck me and answer, but you know you need to cough up about three grand. And I'll video. Did Bob just say he'd give it up for three grand? I, we gotta go back. Cause okay. I, didn't, I know we couldn't have heard that right. Hold on. I know we couldn't have heard that right. Wait, wait, don't get perverted and weird like the little spastic hick <laughs> levels. Uh, just try to be cool with me. I'm, I'm going to be on, a, on, on, on like a Spartan level with you. I want you to have discipline, you little fucking barbarian uh, bitch. You're going to suck my dick soon. No, you I'm not going to suck your dick. He just answered it. He is gay and he does have a blown out butthole. Because no, he wants men to suck his dick. So I know he's a faggot. Yeah. 
So you definite one hundred percent. Grabbing motherfucker, you want attention, right? So he, you get attention getter, but he lost the bet already because he does have a blown out butthole. <laughs> now, I do it for entertainment for my own self. Yeah, it's entertainment. So what we can do is we can get you to fuck me and answer, but you know you need to cough up about three grand, and I'll videotape it. Was to have sex with Minnie Manson? Oh, that, uh, yeah, yes. Okay. And I'll drop the price to 1500 1500 <laughs> But fuck uh, Minnie Manson, who's a foreign female, that looks like a guy. So if you want to do all of that, somebody, I can hook you up if the price is right. So he's yeah. pimping out Minnie Manson. <laughs> what? Does Minnie Manson agree to this? Do you have, do you, okay, listen, listen, listen. I'll fucking throw you in the fucking lake, bitch. So do you got $1,500 to pay up so that you can fuck Minnie Manson? Fuck, let's do it then. Let's Man, I can think of like, so many other ways to spend $1,500. Right. Why don't we just make it more simplistic, and why don't you meet up with me and we have a, a boxing contest? I don't care about that. I want to know if you want to pay fifteen hundred to fuck Minnie Manson in the ass or not. Why don't I just kill you? Why don't I just find you? Because you can fuck her do you think that's a better you option than paying fifteen hundred dollars to have sex with Minnie Manson? Yeah, what? Find you and kill you. And I get to video record it, and you got to sign off on all of the rights. Well, Bob's really down. focused on this. He won't. He won't entertain any other ideas. He right gets now. the video recorded though. <laughs> I like how Bob's like adding this one in. Like this is gonna go into the the tape archives. Yeah, he's gonna show it to people when he proves he can fight. Like he shows Mark Connors. When this is his fight with Mark Connors. He's gonna show this videotape. Ah, I'm a pornographer. You see some of the hottest stuff I ever did was with this feller. His name's uh, I don't remember his name. Supernatural Gape or whatever. And uh, and uh, Minnie Manson, two fellers. Having sex together, I videotaped it. You know, I'm a I'm a top tier pornographer. I don't give a fuck about police or anything. He's basically why Larry Flynn. You and kill you. So why are you avoiding the question of fucking Minnie Manson? <laughs> he hung up on him. Yeah, that's the worst thing about paying. Well, that guy's psychotic. It's Osama bin Bobby Lee. I'm here with the flaming butthole challenge. Seriously, what's up with people online talking about buttholes? They're the topic of the day. I definitely think the worst thing about paying $1,500 to have sex with Minnie Manson is halfway through, they're going to have to have a break to eat a frickin' nutrition <laughs> bar because their blood sugar will be so low from the reaming. <laughs> the reaming. He done went off the... Why don't I just kill you? <laughs> oh, this guy's so funny. He cracks me the fuck up. I got to tell you. <laughs> He's so funny. Where did y'all find this fucking lunatic? Oh, my God. He's a hoot and a holler. He's fucking spazzastic as hell. Is he spazzastic as hell? Spazzastic as hell. Spazzastic as hell. <laughs> yeah, at least I would say cut this fucking psycho. He's going to take everything into fighting words over there. He Close at the end. Yeah, that's it. Wow, that was an intense one from Bob. Here's a very short one from Bob, and then we'll move on. He's got another couple in Somewhere else that uh, wants to name their baby after me. I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> wait a minute, what? Okay, cool. Yeah, yeah, go ahead, go ahead. Yeah, I love it. Good idea. And another couple was thinking about giving the baby the middle name, like T Bob or something like that. I was like, what? Oh, got to pay, Nobody man, what is if, doing this, right? Whatever y'all feel comfortable naming your baby with you know but I, I may even honor for them to even think about me because of that. <laughs> it's an honor for them to even think about me my name is brandon t bob anderson let's go brandon t bob anderson <laughs> okay all right, everyone, please like the stream. Thank you for getting us to almost 12% of our goal. That's most definitely what's up. Everyone watching, if you haven't subscribed, make sure you're subscribed. Do Double you check think that. you would allow Elisa or any attractive to peg him? 
Uh, Probably. I think uh, at the height of his uh, affection towards Elisa, he would have let Elisa strap one on and put it in. Maybe. He was writing her love songs. You don't write love songs for somebody that you wouldn't bend your your will That's for. That's not true. <laughs> They were poems, I guess. They weren't really songs. Yeah. Um, all right. Here we go. His first name is Bobby Lee. Could be B- Bobby Lee. Lee. Bobby Lee Jones. Could the T is Could short for Trumpster. Could be Bobby Lee Jones. go uh the the spicy deep fried ribs saga continues because you know like he made a vid he made the video of him preparing the ribs and then he waited like a whole day and then came back and uh let me see what what this part is. gotta leave them wanting more we have so this is we saw this part no a series fire Let's see what he says here at the end. I don't remember the cheese going on them. Do do you? No, but I remember him doing this part. There's like the Doritos part too. Or, yeah, he, I don't oh. know. I don't I think we watched him deep fry any of it. He like baked them first, then we cut That's off after place. two videos. Okay, so here it is, right? I think this is pre batter fry, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, I see the Dorito batter. Out of fact, I'll do one for you, just to fucking... He's trashed. This is where he dropped his new phone that he just got. King. I don't even think he knew that it happened. That's the Eldritch Horror angle. Let's go. Kostulu. Still kicking, I think. (laughs) Yes, we are. Cobes would be an awesome star of like a uh, a pirate movie. Barbecue. A pirate movie. Dip it in the egg. Maybe Dip it in the flour. Captain Jack and Nacho. These are boneless pork ribs that he like. <laughs> I don't know. He made over the course of several days. Double dip it. He made barbecue sauce, but it was hardly even barbecue sauce. It was like Bud Light. It was a wash. Yeah. These delicious little morsels. Love you too. He calls them wings. They're they're. Yeah, he wings. got really drunk. He was so drunk that he forgot what they even were and Literally called them wings a bunch of times. Little hog wing going on. Got the timestamp matters. Not that it matters. Cobes needs a, a tripod. 2.43 in the afternoon. You need a pretty tall tripod to do a cooking video to like get up to like your, you know, like high up enough above the counter to look down on it. I just want to make sure he doesn't burn himself. Be careful, Cobes. It's hot so oil. <laughs> I remember when he rich. was making fries and he started a fire. Because the hot oil was like g- spilling over and then hitting the the gas flame that he had, and it was like burning up. He had a he had a grease fire on his hands. Does that have Doritos on it? it looks like there's Doritos. Yes, on there's it. there. Yeah, there was a bag of Doritos in the background earlier. How are they? Either one without bones? You saying boneless rings, uh, boneless wings, and boneless ribs boneless? don't exist? Well, yeah, technically they're they're they call them r- wings and ribs. Are are por- boneless pork ribs? They're not actually from the rib. They're like some from somewhere else. I don't know. I'm I think asking. there's country style rib hmm. rib, rib meat. I don't know. I'm pretty sure it's rib meat, but I like uh, I like beef ribs, like short ribs. Yeah, those are good. Um. And I, I usually get them, like, flank and cut with the little, like, bone segments in them. You know what I mean? I don't know what a flank and cut is, no. 
There's two different screen, types of. The other day, Jeff said Cobra had slammed a whole wheat soda before making the ribs. Also, Jeff's cousin Matt got into Cobra's place and got Cobra to make Jeff and Juan. Nice. I've already pre cooked them. Um... Jeff definitely speaks Boglum. And Jeff should be in the pirate movie with Cobus, too. Jeff's a quality pirate. Anybody who thrives at Burning Man deserves to be in a pirate movie. Baking these things and then deep frying them? No Are point. they just tough as shit? Like, yes. I want to see him eat one now and see if he's got a gnaw on it like a dog to a bone. Bastards cool off for a second. Here are those fucking <laughs> deep fried ribs. <sighs> no, I didn't. So just because I these are flank and cut ribs. Uh, oh, the, beef beef short ribs. Yeah, short ribs. These With the, the little bone segments in style them. you get at the Korean barbecue yes. and the Japanese. Uh, like the teriyaki, they'll do yes. these with teriyaki. Yeah, kind of like that. Um, and then they cut them, like, a lot of times they'll cut them that way in the grocery store, and then they'll also cut them uh, this way, uh, right right there. You'll see that a lot, too. Like, they're cut into almost like cubes. Good stuff. One of my favorite types of meat to cut. Fact. Add a uh, separate... Yeah, I put fresh, while these are deep frying, I put fresh tin foil on top. Oh shit. We have some Lucrane Dairy Farms since 1904. He calls it Lucrane. He means Lucerne. Yeah. Um, Support the uh, soldiers in Lucrane. Mexican style for cheese. (laughs) Russia's invading you, Ukraine. How does he get Ukraine? I I don't know. Yeah, it's really sick how they make white Russians out of the Ukraine. <laughs> Cream. We got some four cheese. Some four cheese. They don't call it the Ukraine anymore. Blend Mexican style cheese. There you have it, folks. It's, yeah. Me- Is he going to bake it again to melt the cheese now? Probably. He cooks it like three times. They're probably so gross and overcooked. Like, there's no way these aren't going to be little hockey pucks, right? Yeah, like, but I would, say, I would say on the bright side, at least he's not going to give himself food Deep poisoning. Deep fried ribs <laughs> with cheese. Yeah, so if he had a whole weed soda before this, I totally understand. And I'm actually impressed. <laughs> I'm impressed these weren't worse. Because weed soda will knock you for a loop. Weed soda is good, but yeah. The next day. Were they in the oven for 24 hours? The next day. Look at him. He looks sad right here. So on the video series... The uh, dank barbecue spicy deep fried ribs, they turned out delicious. That's that's well, what's part up. Part two, you saw me adding the um, the uh, sauce to the ribs the first time. And right at the end of that video, you saw I put the ribs in, back in the oven. Well, I did film the next part after that, but I lost the footage. So what happens next? Like I said, 350 degrees. I finished baking off those ribs, those boneless ribs in the oven. So he baked them, deep fried them, and then baked them again. Baking off those ribbies. They're pretty much, they're pretty much almost fully cooked. Almost? So when I took them out of the (laughs) oven, let them cool off, (laughs) then I deep fried it in that vegetable oil. I took nacho cheese Doritos, 
all-purpose flour, and the same seasoning that I put in my barbecue sauce the first time. That's the swamp aioli seasoning. <laughs> swamp aioli? aioli. So. Swamp aioli? It's the seminal swamp seasoning that he has. He called it swamp amoli earlier. I, that's when I had to look it up. Now it's swamp aioli. <laughs> swamp aioli. That sounds so gross. It's the seminal swamp seasoning. It looks like it might be interesting. By the way, because I lost the footage, I figured I'd explain. Hey, back. It's, hold on. All right. Yeah, yeah. We, we had ourselves muted. Yeah, we know there was no sound. Uh, Half back. Yeah, we're back. Almost kind of. back. Um, we might have to. <clears throat> All right, we are back. We are back. Ooh, I believe we are. Anyway, when I hit the refresh button, it looks like we're back. Yeah, we're back after a while. Oh. Yeah, back on the phone too. Everything is everything is a okay. Oh, no, that took a while. I'm I'm not very happy with it, but so yeah, we are back after all that. We tell are now your back friends again. Uh, yeah, yeah. Tell all your friends after everybody left. Tell your mama. Tell your pa. Yeah. Tell everyone you know that we are back. Um. And I'll I'll let everyone in the Discord know that we're back up. It's the the new PC seems to be just fine. Yeah, it has nothing to do with the PC. It has everything to do with uh, internet shenanigans. Everybody who stuck with us, uh, we owe you a personal apology for all the the downtime. For those of you that are no longer here because you left while we were down, you despicable people, you gave up. You gave up on us. You broke our heart. We're going to get uh, back into it here with the uh, where we left off, so I'll find about where it was. Got that swamp of moly. No, he already moly. did this part, right? Deep frying. Yeah. yeah. Well, oh, yeah, he was just telling you how to do that because I saw him. it just kind of transitions from me sticking the ribs in the oven and then they're magically just reappeared. We also got a dono pulling him out off. of. Yeah. Mike Mike said Billy should do a commercial as the Mel Mac Daddy. The fryer. All right, uh, let's check out this next one. So, this is the final the chapter. Final chapter. What's up, YouTube? So the wings are just about done. Got that melted cheese on top. Yes, please. So it looks like the most heinous chicken parmesan. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he put... Is there some weird but we need like, marinara looking sauce? sauce? Oh, I think it's his like hot sauce or whatever. So we have our trusty bowl. And we're gonna add some sweet honey. Gotta break out the craft mac, craft barbecue sauce. Some soy sauce. Yeah, the big secret to craft barbecue sauce is you Get gotta add extra shit sauce. to it. Some of this hot sauce right here. Some soy sauce. Some devil's anus. Iguana. Is he peeing in the Deuces, corner? Hot sauce. Oh. <coughs> Throwing away garbage with the iguana hot sauce. It's got some heat to it. Uh-huh. 
He's pouring beer in there too. Yeah, his his like sauce is mostly beer, and some of it's like water because he put water in the uh, bottle of hot sauce that he had, like the store bought, to get all the hot sauce hot sauce out. This pork most closely tastes like human flesh. Is that what people say? I don't think people say that. Gotta get that heap gob of country crock mixed in with the bog water. There's a burner. When I microwave this sauce. Gotta microwave the sauce. I did pour a little bit of water in here. He keeps going. Why'd he pour water in there? He already poured like half a can of beer. People were concerned about his breathing. He poured water in there because he put the water in the sauce bottle to get the sauce out. Not thinking that like the watered down sauce is, like is worse than that little bit of sauce going to waste. He gave us all the barbecue sauce that was good. People are like, people were speculating on his Reddit that something was like, you know, like maybe kratom or something was affecting his breathing. When I was rinsing out the bottle, it might be spiciness though. I I do that. You just have the uh, one spice. Okay, then that's it. Two minutes thirty four seconds. Stir it around. <laughs> God. Look Simple at it. country Steve. knows about the long pork. There's no way that this resembles anything like a sauce. You're going to splash it down. A little bit of sauce on each one. This is so awful! This is like pissing on somebody's cremations. The I'd, sound of it is so fucking gross. I'd love to see Cobes with this big blue bowl pouring it over a woman because that's the only way he knows how to get her wet. It was like water. It was like dirty water. Oh, fuck me. Oh my god! <laughs> Poor Cubs. Oh my god. <laughs> there he is. Bogum sounds. They need to spill it all over the place. What happens when you give them a bath and they want to try? <laughs> Alright, you two, like so we're gonna out. try these wings. We have Monkey Shoulder, the original. What is that? This is some really good scotch. I highly some recommend scotch? it. <laughs> That's why he's so trash. It's been sitting in my he's freezer. Weed soda as well. It's ice cold. As everybody was saying. Did he drop his phone again? Sorry about that. Huh? Oh my god, look how black they are. They're Try gothic. Show you on these. Show you these wings. He keeps calling them wings, but they're rib. Well, gotta, they were ribs at one point. Gotta love these Cajun gothic bad boys right here. Wing ri rib wings. Everyone, try to say rib wings as fast as you can multiple times. Rib wings. Rib wings. Rib wings. Rib wings. It's hard. Rib wings. These wings are done, son. Done, but done, they're not done, wings, done. they're uh, pork ribs. He forgot they were pork ribs. Deep fried pork ribs. Let's watch this. He candy. mutilated them so much that he forgot what they were. Now, when he gave it the bath in the sauce bath, does that help make it chewable again? Does it take out some of the overcooking texture? That shit that he was pouring on the, his food 
reminds me of like when I wake up and I'm really, really hung over and I feel sick and I drink a bunch of water and then I throw up the like all <laughs> like I drink a whole ton of it and I throw it all up and My there's stomach like stomach acid, all that shit in it. That's what his sauce reminded me you of. Some stomach and acid on your it. on your Cobes oh. ribs. Okay. So the bite didn't go through where he was biting. It like pulled off maybe an inch out out of his mouth. Delicious. Delicious. <laughs> Who would have expected that? Who would have expected those delicious tubes? Ah. Uh, <laughs> seriously tasty rib, dude. He's cutting back on his drinking. He's a happy man. Oh. Oh. King Cobra is like 2023 Confucius. This is the way to do it. Eh. Fingers um, crossed. Holy shit, dude. Refresh, refresh. Everybody refresh. Tell everyone to refresh. Refresh, refresh, refresh. Um. So back again after uh, our whole computer died. People are saying Cobra's ribs are better than our internet connection. Our like, our our whole computer died, and we finally got that fixed. And now today, our internet connection is just trashed. So it is what it is. You know what I'm saying, bro? Mm. Simple Seriously, Country says controls. he would like to cook for King Cobra under King Cobra. YouTube, rules. it is in my declaration that. Nice. These barbecue deep fried wings, which have been made from delicious boneless pork ribs. These deep fried boneless pork ribs are so fucking good. It's so fucking good. I'm very happy with the way this recipe turned out, you nice. two. Another win for These the things Cobes. are the business YouTube. They're spicy, they're full of flavor. These uh, boneless pork ribs are deep fried in Doritos. The skin holds on nice. Doritos favors the bold. Oh, spicy YouTube. <laughs> So tasty. <laughs> them ribs are so fucking good. <laughs> I would like try the each ribs. packet of boneless ribs came with like four. I'm actually curious on the ribs. Y'all, yeah, I'm gonna have to take a fucking bloody shot because those are some, some those are some fucking delicious ribs. Liddy again, Liddy again, Liddy again. It's it's worth celebrating those delicious ribs. Out of like what the fuck is 4 plus 4? Uh <laughs> you're what's 4 plus 4? 8. I want to see King Cobra uh, get invited to the stage in the movie The Menu. So I had like I don't know how many I had left. All I know is I made some delicious ribs. King. I tell you what, these goddamn fucking ribs are so fucking good. I deep fried these goddamn ribs and some nacho cheese Doritos. I figure it out the secret to giving it that that crust, you know. 
which is nice too because all that delicious deep fried goodness none of it fell off see all yep. that Doritos that nacho good. cheese crust stayed that on the good. rib yeah Your so I call this deep on. fried mission a success it was a success this, this isn't is going to be some stupid YouTube like. channel where it's like, hey, how many foods can you deep fry in nacho cheese Doritos and how tasty can it be? Fuck that. Dude, I don't even give a fuck if there's cheese pull on these goddamn ribs or not, son. That's just you, you don't extra want cheese flavor. Pull on ribs. When they ain't got no bones in it, all you gotta do is crunch, 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 like you see me doing. So bone, bone-free ribs are easier to eat, but not necessarily as fun. It'd be nice if you had some. Now bone we're going ribs to do a uh, review. The this oh. is and then you fill the bone hole with, with like a, a mozzarella. Bone hole. You fill the bone hole with mozzarella, so the ribs would have a cheese pull. That'd be interesting. Uh, monkey shoulder scotch. This is really good stuff, YouTube. What you do is you take a sip, let it sit on your tongue for a good 10 seconds or more to appreciate the fine exquisity of the taste. Uh -huh. The fine exquisity. Then you just mm, swallow it down. People are going deep fried ribs. And when you're asking yourself, can barbecue ribs become any more delicious? The answer is, oh fuck yes they can. <laughs> what a happy little chappy. Good job, Kid Cobra. <laughs> <laughs> I what was it called monkey shoulder? That's how you know it's good scotch when you have to good push it away ribs and good the back scotch. of your hand as you plead for a breath of air. Yeah, people are asking where the goal is at. You know, I where I don't know. Goal? I don't know. Egghead says the stream labs isn't on. I'll check and see if we've gotten any. That is very strange. Egghead says, I spy with my eye a certain... Oh, God, Egghead. PDF file. Oh, Egghead's watching Jared Genesis. Um, yeah, I, I don't know. It might... Let me check something really quick here. I'm going to put Billy on full screen. Let's go. It's not even working right. Uh, let me re. I'm, I'm gonna restart uh, OBS really quick here. We'll be right back. Roger Wilco asks, "What's right. going to kill Cope's first liver failure or heart? Maybe pancreatitis. I know garbage alcohol can cause that." I think Cobra obviously will live forever. Yeah, I think that after all of our. Um, issues with uh with the internet connection obs just had to be restarted and now it looks like everything's working i'll send a text message really quick here uh, this is yeah, a test it donation it's for back. 92 dollars there we go yeah. au revoir, au revoir. Um. all right well now that we're back, and yeah, we finally got through those ribs. Those ribs took so long for him to film because he put them up in five different videos. Didn't he for? Didn't he lose footage too, or something? He said Wasn't he, he... missed some footage. There. Yeah, yeah. Um, let's check out more of this Dragon Lord Frodo guy. You're a fucking piece of shit! Exude vision! Never show up on my fucking channel again! I've done a little research and I believe this guy's legit. I don't think he's acting. Um, I could tell he's legit Go because back of all the to your posters boy, on his King wall. Cobra. Just like our friend Egghead. Go back to your fucking boy, King Cobra! 
King Cobra. All those ribs just made my stomach turn. Oof. Hey, when you come to Seattle, we're going to have a rib cook-off. Go suck King Cobra's dick some more. Go fuck yourself. Go what if this guy was more effective than the, the tactical soap? And him yelling at people to go suck King Cobra's dick. Got him, <laughs> got him a beach. Yourself, big Zoom visions. Go back to your fucking Muppet. Go back to your fucking Muppet. You piece of shit. <laughs> here's a, here's a. It's a fucking scam. It's a fucking scam. Don't you get it? I don't, don't like you drip lip out his uh, tiny whiteies. Get it. It is everything, everything medical. You are a fucking scam artist, doctor. Is he wearing a diaper? I'm fucking uh, scam I don't know artist. If you are He's a, got a green jelly shirt, though, right? You deserve fucking rape. All of them. They need to be raped. Nurses. These nurses need to be fucking raped. If so he's are, a lot like uh, JRC3? Whoa! You're a doctor, you deserve rape, <sighs> and you deserve ah. to be murdered. They Maybe. need to be... He's very angry. He's got a green jelly shirt. Yeah, that's uh, what I just said. Oh, I missed that. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm a little discombobulated by having to fuck with the internet shit. Fucking raped. My mother has her own special place in hell for her. And Mama Scrunch has her own fucking place. Why is he He's got, got a machete? A machete. Special place in hell for He's her. He's got to cut his own arm off with that thing. Everybody, all fucking doctors, are fucking scam artists. All fucking pharmacists are scam artists. That includes Baloney Arm's fucking wife. I hope she's watching this. I hope she's watching this. What part of I don't give a shit about doctors? Don't you that was a good edit. Fucking understand? I I wish I wish fucking Stalin was in charge again, so he could just wow. arrest all these fucking He's a tanky. doctors. These fucking scam artists. Everyone, give the stream a like if you haven't already. Show us your support by giving the stream a like. You are a fucking scam artist. You piece of shit. You piece of shit, doctor. You are a fucking scam artist. Not a big fan of the bouncing beanbag. Bouncing. He, follow the bouncing beanbag. There's a little bouncing beanbag underneath that green jelly shirt. Somewhere in Buffalo, New York, Thursday morning, nine forty-seven. I want to come for some shit. Buffalo police are investigating the death of a teenage girl who had been reported missing last month. Um, as you know, my YouTube channel, um, Dragon Lord Frodo, I had to change the name to it and only do game live streams for a while. Recommendation of my mother. Uh, a little mean look. <laughs> um, because the thing is, is that so. I went to go. I went to go get a new cat um, a couple weeks ago, right? And somebody from Monty's chat, okay? We know it's somebody from Monty's chat because there's people on Monty's chat that keep saying Is they're going to call. Of his they're going to call the places that I'm trying to get a cat from and tell them not to not to adopt to me. And I'll get into that a little bit more. I think I think that the whole situation is uh, well. I think the I think the places that are um, that uh, these adoption places for cats um, should be in a lot of trouble uh, first and foremost because they're not doing a proper investigation into this. An investigation revealed improper inspection control practices. At um, they're pretty much just taking the word of some random idiot on online. I, I don't want to be on YouTube anymore. I don't want to be on YouTube anymore. I don't want to be on YouTube anymore. That's a nice prison orange right there. I don't want to be on YouTube anymore. I don't want to be on YouTube anymore. The fuck? 
I want to just sit there and die. I want to die. I want to die. I want to die. I want to die. I don't want to be on YouTube anymore. The fuck? Then get off of it. Delete your channel. Whatever. Fuck. Nobody comments. Nobody comments on my stuff anymore. Yeah, I try. I try to provide entertainment. Shut the fuck up. I try to provide entertainment, but I can't. The fuck do you want from me? What's the he snacking? What do you want from me? Has he me? got some Cobes rib? And now I'm unable to adopt a cat. And is this, this isn't just that place over in uh, uh, whatever, uh, the Eastern Hills Mall. This this is actually, uh, I don't know if anybody realizes it, but this is actually a, uh, a widespread thing now. Because I actually, you know, I actually tried to adopt a cat from uh, the Cat Cafe. Non, non cat? Non gato. It's persona non gato. That's great. Little, little teeny nose. Nanya. I'm not a fan of those little snuff nose. That I like going kids. to. And they said it was denied. The <laughs> value. <laughs> so there, I'm on some list that I never put myself on. Huh? Oh, God. Um, yeah, let me. Wow, this one's longer. And who the fuck does? I saw he got arrested at one time. Oh, at one point who, too. Uh, I don't know how far this list reaches. This is the third issue this year. Conspiracy theory. I'm not even allowed at the cat cafe anymore. Oh my god. Okay. And if those cats well, where their tongue just hangs out of their mouths. They said I'm not I'm not allowed to adopt from the cat cafe. I, they said I could still go in there and play with the cats there, but I'm not allowed to adopt. So I'm <laughs> I'm assuming that this is a, a widespread thing that goes out to all the the rescues. How far I have no idea. Um but this is actually this is actually harassment. I ain't never been banned Stop. from a cat cafe before. <laughs> I've only been to one once. Actually, the one I went to wasn't a cafe. It was like a cat bookstore. Do um, cats read? No, they just live in the bookstore. Whoever owns the bookstore lets the cats live in the bookstore. Huh. Um, so uh, I did want to mention here that. Actual Mania is coming up at the end of this month for all patrons, $5 and above. It'll happen on Friday, uh, January 27th. It's going to be the Regal Tussle. We already have multiple people uh, making their commitment to get into this thing. This year, the cool thing about it is that people will enter. Uh, everyone, the night before, everyone will get assigned a number. And I will let those people know what their number is, actually. And they can tell other people if they want. Maybe maybe we'll do it like two nights before. They can tell other people if they want. They can brag about it in their promo or they can keep it a secret in which they'll enter. Obviously, the later in that you enter, the better chance you have of winning. And there's going to there's going to be some surprises. Some there's going to be some people I'm not even going to tell you are going to be in it. And you'll be surprised that they uh are you guys even ready for surprises? Yeah. So the, some of the some of the confirmed people we have are Smarty, Pix, uh, Captain Cool Aids, Godot, uh, Lord Magicus, uh, representative of the Necromancer. I'm I don't know who that is, but that's I guess that's someone new. Doctor Piss, Big Diesel, Ruby Jules is back again. Uh, Jess Pro back again. Hell's Only. I, I believe another hey. a newcomer. Uh, Star Spangled Luchador, Auntie Jesse, and Simple Country so far. So we have quite a few people. There's and people. surprises. Yeah, there are people who have committed to be in it that uh, have asked to remain anonymous. This is an official tussle. It's more yeah. than a Donnybrook. So we, we've got quite a few. It's not totally full yet, but once I have the exact roster down, we're going to generate the numbers. People will know what uh, order. What What is Egghead talking about? 
I don't know, some sort of adult video store um, that he frequents in his local area. The winner will get to challenge the champion of their choice for their title at Actual Mania Mania, which will come up in April. I think Egghead wants me to show something. Sicko. Egghead, just because you showed your diesel the flock of possum. The Actual Mania World Heavyweight Championship belt? Is that it? Is that it? Feast your eyes on this. Huh? Feast your eyes on this. You know what I'm going to do? What if I join the Regal Tussle and I win and I take one of your titles instead? What about that? Huh? Yeah, I don't think so. You know what? The sign of a real champion, I wear the belt. I actually wear it. I don't it's not a shoulder accessory. I can wear it around my waist. <laughs> Egghead, that's a beauty. We do have some actual mania promos that we'll play a little later here. Harassing me. I'm tired of being harassed. I'm not a pedophile. Prove it. I can do whatever I want. And the thing is, is that I never abused Grady, okay? The reason I made that video, I was being sarcastic, okay? I was being sarcastic because that fucking cocksucker, Sega CD Universe, uh, told me Sega after CD Grady Universe. died, he told me that his wife is a veterinarian, okay? And his wife said that he, she watches my videos, Okay. Okay. And his wife said that gravy. She could tell that gravy was sick for a couple years. And I'm like, my cat was sick oh. for years. <laughs> so by the way, guys, normally we do a post show for like a half hour. Since we were down for like a half hour, we're not going to do a post show tonight. We'll just do a normal show length, and then we'll be out of here. But we'll be doing a post show next. Uh, next episode so tomorrow um and yeah this is the first show of the week we had to delay it because of the computer problems well thanks for telling me that nope just because, blame somebody else you know, you know i took the you know i took gravy to the vet like maybe two weeks before she died right Doctor. <laughs> okay Creative editing, I guess. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of the meme cuts. Yeah. Cut that off. So, Monty, you are a fucking n***er. Whoa. I don't give a shit. Okay? Did you say Monty? Oh, my God. This is well, the, this we're is not the type of person that you would expect him, really. so to be at the chats, one of his forefront of chat white supremacy. Actually called up something Man who hasn't even mastered white supremacy. You know, I will tell you, I was surprised at the quality of this belt for like what what it was, what was paid for it. Like, it's pretty nice. And and it's got like the cool, like almost like alligator skin, like red snake skin. Yeah. It's pretty cool. Cat from any rescue. And you know what? I'm just going to say, fuck rescue cats. No. Fuck rescue cats. Aww. Like, I'm serious. Like, what the fuck is the point? You know? Of what? Rescue cats. Oh. Poor cat. All jokes aside. That is a really beautiful belt design. Glad I was able to help design the belt. Are you sure you were Egghead? Yeah. I designed that belt, Egghead. On the uh, on the side plates, it has the name of every heavyweight champion on it. I designed that belt so King Cobra could eat his delicious ribs off of it. Damn. Oh, man, I can't watch this anymore. What an asshole. Animal shelter. Yeah, it was, or it was the cats that got me, not the uh, Nazi salute. And Everyone the, it was the cats. And the racism. So he feels good. 
Yeah, I want to thank Egghead for the belt. Yeah, Egghead, Egghead was like, you want a belt? And I'm like, I, I, not if you have a better thing to spend the money on. And he was like, no, I want you to have a belt. So I'm like, okay, cool. So yeah. at least now I can be like, oh, cool. It's a cool belt. It's really cool. Egghead you know? buy you that belt so he could beat you for it and make you sign I'm not it sending it send to it anybody. Wait, the belt rule is the belt rule. If you become champion, you can buy your own belt. Well, you know, Egghead told me he paid for the belt, so he's going to win it back off of you. Oh, no, he's not doing that. That's what I bet. Egghead said that's what you do with if you're an honorable champion. I'm not honorable. <laughs> Ben's going to retire the belt now after he got the physical copy. So he can be a piece of shit, game. evil son of a bitch and get a cat from a fucking kitty mill, you know, from a fucking pet store or something. 400? Okay. You are It's his house? Oh my god, that looks disgusting. It might be a shelter. I don't know. I, I'm lost on this. Let's see what this is. Oh. Hello. Welcome back. Tis I, the tequila, tequila. It's been a while. Of all the universe. <laughs> oh my god, look at me, guys. I, I literally look like an empress. <laughs> this is this. You know, you notice how everyone always copies me? First, I did the, you know, God made those paintings of me of the. And then, then everyone got their cheap knockoff version of the AI art or whatever they do, you know, and, and it looks so cheesy and ghetto. Like, you could tell theirs was like completely, mine is like so much more stunning and ravishing than theirs because God made it for me. And then they copied me. <laughs> because God made it for then, me. You know, I just, this is just how I am. And now all of a sudden there's a trend of basic bitches trying to dress like She's like the queen of hearts almost or something here. Old money. Bitch, you are not even you are a welfare queen. <laughs> you bitches are welfare queens. You're nowhere near old money, nowhere near royalty. You're a bunch of dick sucking for free hags. And you get nothing, and then you go on dick to talk about for free hags. every day because you're a fucking rejects from God. So Anyways, let me remind you how worthless you are. So do y'all remember? I know y'all remember because everybody remembers this. When I first came on the scene and I pronounced the first judgment against the haughty women of Zion, you're not my daughters because you have been rejected. So don't try to say you're the daughters of Zion because I am Zion. I am Zion, okay? And you're not my daughter. So you are the women of Zion, meaning the women of the earth, women of America, Babylon, the great whore. And the great remember whore. When I pronounced judgment the first time, let me put on my dazzling bobbles, darling. Is somebody, my, all my rings that Has the Lord has gifted me with can't, I don't know if I fit through there. What do you mean? But she looks like yes, she's put darling, on a little bit of uh, this cute yeah. little box here. Wait right here. She has anyway, anyway so, though. She had it before. Oh, she had extra weight before. And I before. remember because everyone got all angry and they're like, "Hey, do you look here, bitch?" She's blah, a nice blah, blah, round. Blah. Someone told me to put the belt on. There it is. And stinky and bald headed. Yeah. Okay, so and I did that. And then I disappeared for a while, and a I didn't loose. say nothing else regarding that. Because God okay, wanted God to give them time to repent. Because after that, he showed our great signs and like, wonders through me. God has always huge. shown great it's signs adjustable. and wonders. I don't know what you're talking about. He's ready to win that belt uh, from you. To give people time to repent. And they repented not. And now, like, one, two years later, oh, my Lord. I, I was, you know, because God's watching y'all. Yeah, what's Everyone the use knows, of like, a belt if you can't even hold like, up oh, your what's pants? What's happening in the earth? You know, something crazy is happening. Might as well put that thing on your shoulder. God and his queen Can't is even here. Hold your pants up. Uh, why do you insist on acting haughty still? You know, it's like going, imagine going to a coronation and acting like a dumbass, okay? So I saw this bitch yesterday, this dumbass. She was trying to release a word of God. She's like, this is what God said to you today. <laughs> and like doing all this, like, bitch, I done knocked the teeth out of her face, okay? Because you don't act. I said, bitch, this is the father's house, not TikTok whorehouse. Put the fucking brush down. This is not your word. You know, even I, you have never seen me coming online talking about. So, yeah, guys, the Lord says, bitch, it's like it's so disrespectful because it's God's word. 
And when the father speaks, you better shut the fuck up and give him your full attention. But these bitches in there. And uh -huh. that's why you're still ugly, ho. But this is why I'm going to pronounce a second judgment on y'all. This, this is what the Lord going to do, okay? Ugh. Okay, so because the daughters of Zion are haughty and walk with outstretched, because the women of Zion are haughty and walk with, walk with outstretched necks and wanton eyes, walking in mansion as they the go, to preach. making it jingling with their feet. Their f I like this better than the songs she was doing. She was just singing random songs for a little while. This is way better. Lord, the Lord will strike with the scab of the crown of the head of the women of Zion, meaning he's going to make y'all bald. And the Lord will uncover their secret parts. In that day, the Lord will take away the finery, the jingling anklets, the scarves, and the crescents, and the pendants and bracelets and veils, the headdresses, you know, all their wigs and everything, the leg ornaments and the headbands and perfume boxes, the charms, and the rings, and the nose jewels, the festal apparel, the mantles, the outer garments, the purses, the mirrors, and the fine linen, the turbans, and the robes. And so it shall be, instead of a sweet smell, there will be a stench for you stinky ass bitches. Instead of well set hair, baldness. Instead of a rich robe, a girding of sackcloth. Okay, sorry, where was I, guys? I was getting so heated up. Okay, let me let me. Yeah, do that she again. hasn't said anything racist um, yet, has she? So instead of a sweet smell like me, I literally smell She's like roses Rita every day. See everything, you know, y'all try to be, which is me. The Lord has given it to me and taken away from you because you are she a rebellious, haughty. That she was talking bunch. about sticky when she said the Lord was gonna rip off her hair and make her bald. Rebellious, disobedient. God hates them. I'm telling you, man. I can't. Because I feel what he feels, you know, and the, 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 the hatred that the absolute sheer, utter, just disdain and disgust for these women. Disdain I can't even put disgust? into words how much God All hates the them. All the disses? I was like, I'm telling you, they try to pay them out like, God loves you. Oh, Lord, no. He hates. There are six things. Yes, seven things that the Lord hates. Wait, does God have a list like Cobes? Uh, yeah, yeah, it's it's like the forbidden, what, eight now? Or seven? So whose list is, is longer, Cobes or God's? God had the, te well, God had like Leviticus and shit too. Mm. Yeah, God had a longer list for, of like forbidden things. So That's God's more fickle than King Haughtiness, Cobra. proudness, definitely uh, stirring up, up strife, you know, all that he hates. And I'll tell you, when I feel it, it's like, it's so enraging that I literally feel God rise up and strike these bitches with death because oh it's God. so disrespectful. And this bitch was, it's worse for her because she's trying to release God's word while, you know, trying to be haughty, you know, like everybody else, like they, they trying to be all, you know, but you're not even royalty. Y'all claiming you're royalty? Th this is royalty. This is royalty. Royalty means you have some class, respect, honor, virtuous, like just a woman, a virtuous woman who can find a woman like this. She's far worth, far above rubies. You bitches are just welfare far above queens. Rubies. A lot of y'all can't even, you know, uh, Could you are not imagine if you had so many rubies no job, bitch, and you couldn't even you trade know, them for tequila? Have, tequila? At least a job, but you ladies <laughs> She's far have nothing. Above now rubies. you don't even have hair and a good smell she more or, of a, or beautiful like an things, amethyst? you know, because the Lord's taking it all an away from you. So let me continue. An amazing so next time, amethyst. you know, you know that God <laughs> and his queen is here, and if you try to make a video, just know that you're being watched, bitch. You are being watch the slightest little thing like that he will knock the teeth out of your head so instead of a sweet smell there will be a stench you stink bitch you fucking stink there Whoa. will be a stench instead of a sash a rope instead of well set hair baldness instead of a rich robe a girding of sackcloth and branding instead of beauty, meaning he's gonna beat you with the ugly stick. That's why I guess everybody getting plastic surgery. Uh, but I'm gonna warn you right now from this point forward, all the plastic surgeries you get will become botched. It will make you worse. Whoa. It will become botched surgeries that you cannot fix. Some of it will even lead to death, as you can see many with the BBLs. They die left and right. These dumb women still going to the office. Instead Auntie of Jesse about wants a match with Tila Tequila. You know, taking care of their relationship happen. with God. But anyways, 
and branding instead of beauty. Your men shall fall by the sword and your mighty in the war. So you notice how all these Jezebels, it's all these Ahabs, all, you know, there's no men for them because uh, the Lord slain them all. You know, they fell in the war. They never returned. So now all those haughty Jezebels, get, they get Ahabs. Um, her gates shall lament and mourn as she, being desolate, shall sit on the ground, bitch. Whew. So, anyway, so while y'all wishing to be me, Queen Esther, just remember that there, there's only one queen, ho, and you ain't it. I kind of want to see the fuck down, bitch. Tila Tila uh, hook up with uh, the, the guy that fights with them things. With them things. I think that'd be a cute couple. Crazy look. I'm yeah. telling you, man, God hates those that dumb ass bitch. Bitch, you're so fucking ugly. Nobody's trying to copy your makeup. Nobody's fucking even listening. Who is she talking to? The people who nobody tried to copy their makeup of. Okay. To what you're saying, like, you bitch. Know, Sting. Like, <laughs> That's how you know Sting's not ugly because so many people try to copy his makeup in wrestling. Ultimate I wasn't sure which Sting you were talking about at first. Yeah, it had to be Sting from WCW. I thought Sting history. from the police. Put on. Why are you still ugly and you stink, bitch? Why are you Look, still ugly and you barely... stink, bitch? This. This. Is royalty. This is old money. Okay, these bitches are well no, it's queen. not. You They're didn't come from old money. Stinky. The Lord's exposing them all now. <laughs> How embarrassing. Maybe she means Bald headed, honey. stinky, ugly, everything that's just loads up to mankind. That's what you hoes are. Okay, this is your reward. Because I warned y'all the first time. And y'all didn't repent. Y'all just laughing at me. But look, look at you now, gutter ass rat. Look at me, gutter <laughs> ass rat. A whole new world. Let's go Disney on <laughs> the team. You got this. <laughs> Look at me, bitch. How you wish you were this fucking oh, the queen in gold. Shalom I just realized that this fire behind her is CGI. <laughs> it's like a filter, right? I was like, when is this fire going to go out? It's like, oh no, the place is burning down. Me, Morton Dave has a suspicion that this chick might be crazy. No. She's farting the fire of truth. Fact. That's what I thought. That's why I, th I truly thought that it was fire of truth. Farting when we out had of her ass. when we had Gail on, we showed her Tila, and she was like, "This this woman is crazy. I think she's crazy." <laughs> crazy people can still see crazy in others. My supporters wanted me to make a video about how to do the Gale Commandments. Um, Is that I blood? do remember when I lived in Florida. Is she making pickled uh, blood? Jesus pickled blood. Jesus instructed me. At pickled that time, I was having problems with a little bit of diarrhea. And oh, no. Why don't you got a journal like that with a little bit of diarrhea? And Jesus instructed me to go through my refrigerator and all my cabinets no. and throw out anything that was expired. So even though we are only to spend money on food and bills, we certainly should not be eating expired food. No, we shouldn't. Because yeah, no that's just not a good health practice. And like, what I just did is I went through my freezer, and I had a whole section here. This is frozen lemon juice, which I did pretty recently, so that should be okay. But this has been here probably for almost six months, okay? So I figured frozen tomato products, even though it's tomato. Huh? And I okay, had yeah. I, I, I thought she was going to go through the Gale commandments, but now she's like ta she talking to Clean our fridge and she's sure herself. Some frozen bread. You can freeze bread, but that was also about six months. You know what the worst thing to fr like I fro I, I tried to freeze milk, and it separated because one part of it melted before the other part of it mm. did so it separated like the fat content of it from like the watery content of it so like one part of it stayed frozen for a really long time and the other part of it melted way faster have you ever tried to freeze mayonnaise no you don't want to do it no that yeah it usually stays good in the fridge for months so I, sir yellow stabby ass who freezes milk you know who freezes milk I tried to freeze ben milk tried. to see how because because I bought milk from Costco and I'm like oh man these two giant you know things of milk from Costco for the for the price of what one would normally be in a normal grocery store and I was like what but I can't possibly 
use all this milk before it would go bad. So I was like, oh, I'll freeze one of them. Yeah. That's why you have to like sell the other gallon to somebody for more than half. No. So you get even cheaper milk. I ate some and it tasted kind of stale. So I threw all that out. He, I would I used sit in to front of a gas like station with bags. the extra Jesus thing of milk. Doing that. I'd be like, who wants to buy this milk? I got this gallon of milk. $4. Four no, dollars. You, wouldn't, you wouldn't do that. Uh, Heck yeah. That's be actually so kind much of money. like a violation oh, yeah. of Gale Commandments so 2.0. So I'll be going through that. But what I'm doing right now is I'm a. Uh, Emptying out all of the uh, jars, and then of course, and then I'm all right. I'm done with you this Gale video. You don't want more of Gale's diarrhea juice? Yeah, I don't. I don't know. It doesn't look like diarrhea. For one thing, it looked like it gave her diarrhea. Tomato sauce or something. It was giving her diarrhea. Giving her diarrhea. Yeah, that's what she was complaining about. Oh, Jesus damn. said, "Throw your food away because I'm getting diarrhea." I wonder. <laughs> so Jesus, Jesus checks up on Gale and is like, "Hey, yeah, yeah, fuck it." I'm done with that. Those of you that need some illegal advice, sell your milk in front of the gas station. Go to Costco, buy the two pack, and sell the other one for more than half of what you paid. So it's how it's how you get ahead in life. You got to stop buying all the. How many times have toast. you done it? Uh, Zero, I'm, because it's not a good idea. I, like, I'm still it's another... trying. I'm still hustling. Anyway, everyone, please like the stream. Stop eating avocado toast. Come on, dude. <laughs> Sell your milk. No one's selling milk. Uh, Four dollar gallon. We are gonna do the new segment now. Here we go. Keep talking, sir. It got me so fuming angry. People are discriminating against wolves. Wow. They're laughing at us at our stupidity. Have you seen um, this guy Santos that got elected, and it turns out he lied about all the his perceived qualifications? I heard that Matt Gates is a big fan of his. Yeah, I think so. Which is funny. Dozens of Republican officials in New York State are urging and battled GOP Congressman George Santos to resign, but he says he's not going anywhere, despite. And he doesn't have to. And there's literally no rule that you have to tell the truth. About your qualifications when you're running for public office. Is this Jared from Subway in Brownface? Admitting to fabricating facts about his personal and professional life. Santos even tweeted yesterday that he was elected to serve the people, not the party or politicians. RJ O'Brien is live <laughs> now on Capitol response. Hill. I wasn't elected to serve politicians. So what if I was dishonest with the people I'm supposed to serve? So Jay, what what what's going to happen here? He just he re, he refuses to budge, even though it's come forward all this information about his professional life and personal life that are simply not true. But he's sticking by his lies. Yeah, and this problem isn't going away for House Republicans, Kira. Everywhere George Santos goes in the Capitol, practically, he gets chased by a pack of reporters asking him <laughs> to respond to those falsehoods. I wonder if he likes it, because if, if this bothered him a lot, he probably would resign. I wonder if he'll be able to actually do any work now that he's in. He has a vote, you know, that's he has it, and... He would have to, they would have to like remove him from office and that would be a lengthy process. This person wants to fuck egghead. GOP leaders now have this issue of what they're going to do about George Santos. You can't really unseat a congressman once they've been seated. It's hard to kick someone out yep. of the house once they're in the house. Very hard. And George Santos is... He's in until the next election. Now in the house. So Kevin McCarthy got the question today. What is he going to do as the Republican leader about George Santos? Here's a little of what he had to say. The voters of his district have elected him. He is seated. He is they elected him based on what he told them he had accomplished. So, so he, they elected him on lies like every yeah. other politician? Uh, I mean, not as many of the... Well, a lot of politicians lie about what they're going to do, but yeah. they don't normally lie about their qualifications because well, those are verifiable. This guy's name, Kevin... He's the Speaker Kevin of the House. McAllister but anyway, or whatever. the things he lied about, you can easily call and be like, hey, you know, like... 
people people looked it up and found out that he was full yeah, of shit. Yeah, but he's under no nope. like reason to drop. And this guy doesn't want to have you uh, get kicked out of Congress for lies because then half of Congress will be gone and the other half will just be better liars. Well, the per- he's they share the same party for one thing. Part of the, the Republican his party's conference. turning on him. He's right? got a long way to go to earn trust. The Republicans are turning on him. Yeah, we'll see. If anything is found to be have wrong, he will be held accountable exactly as anybody else in this body would be. So Why didn't they Telegraph- find out he was full of shit before he got elected? Because he was too far along and probably winning. So like, well, he we won. Got, got to roll with it now. There, he is going to handle this problem internally. They are not going to make a public punishment, it appears as of right now, of George Santos, Kira. And Santos actually appearing on Steve Bannon's uh, War Room podcast, which, oh, by the way, great. is hosted by <laughs> the infamous, famous Florida Republican Congressman Matt Gates, telling him he's lived an honest life. Yeah, what Gates guest say? hosting that podcast today. <laughs> And George Santos saying he'd lived an honest life, that he has not been accused of any wrongdoing in his life, that it would be a disservice to the voters of his district if he were to be removed from Congress, which is something that really can't happen, or if he were to step down from Congress, like we've heard others call for him to do. So Santos... As far as I understand, there's also no repercussions for not showing up to sessions. What are the classified documents found at Biden's Delaware home? That's a different story. But yeah, um, there's like no requirement to do really anything once you get elected. He could just not show up like a lot of a lot of uh, a lot of people in Congress, like when they're supposed to show up and vote on stuff, will like not even show up multiple times. Again, per his tweet that you referenced earlier, per this podcast appearance, not back. Simple country says independent reporters were to stay following this guy from the very beginning, calling him a liar. But the local news wouldn't pick them up because it didn't sound reasonable. Within his own party are mounting, Kira. They're just not coming from GOP a, leadership. It was a snow And job. the ethics complaint that was handed to Santos earlier this week. We'll follow that too. Jay O'Brien on the Hill. Jay, thanks. All right. Here's another crazy thing that happened. Uh, we weren't the only one with computer problems recently. The uh, FAA had a mass computer outage that grounded, I think, all of the flights, as far as I understand. Boo. The FAA says there was a damaged file in a database. It is part of a program that the FAA relies on every day to send critical information to pilots. Now, this event can be considered an event out of the airline's controls. That means airlines are not obligated to pay for hotels or meals or even get full refunds on their flights. And tonight on NBC Nightly News at 6, what needs to happen to ensure this type of outage doesn't happen again? Well, let's talk about the weather. And- oh, no, I don't want to care. About There's that. mercury and Gatorade. Let's check out uh, some of these actual Mania promos. Oh, shit. Remember this one? <laughs> we kept playing that one over and over again. Yeah, Before the garage raid. Uh, do you think you can get all 50 here in time? Great. Uh, if I need extra, do you know how long it would take to get them? Okay, because... No, there, yeah, that there is going to be, yeah, yeah, no, exactly. Uh, uh, hold on one second. Piggy, what are you doing? I told you no magic in the house. TMI, why are you letting this happen? What is going on? Behave, all right? Leave that thing alone. Magic I will deal with it when I'm done with this phone call. Do not mess with that thing. Sorry about that. Yeah, no, I'm going to, it would definitely help Uh-oh. me a lot if you could get, Oh Definitely no! Extra. They're conspiring the now. I think that that's going to be fine. Um, the Pokemon, the stuffed uh, yeah, Pokemon, no, we'll we'll a, are conspiring a third, a third on Magicus's yeah. sex. And uh, definitely, I didn't, I didn't recognize some, that they were Pokemon. Uh, oh, oh, he's got no. a wand! No, it's <laughs> obviously a swineub and a dracini. <laughs> What's the face? <laughs> Great. Well, that's obviously the molten mask of Majora or something. I don't know what nerd shit that's from. What do you huh. mean an extra tax? That's, that's ridiculous. Great, Magicus. Hold on a sec. All right. The yeah, Elder Wand. Okay, no, that's, that's fine. You know what? Just that, 
put it in there. Sorry. What happened? Where's the mask? I was gone for like 30 seconds. How's the swan? Tiamat, come on. How's the stuff Piggy, swan I a better expect, actor? But you, I know, know better. Well, it's out of my hair now, I guess. I don't, who knows where it could be. Somebody else's problem now. What is this mask doing in my living room? Oh no. Oh no. I don't care about pain anymore. More important than pain is this impulse that's rising within me. I feel as though there's something violent boiling up from within. Let go. Let go of this mask. Do you sit around in the chair waiting to eat somebody's Let ass? Let go. Alright, I gotta pause it for a second so uh, WWE doesn't do anything. Uh oh. Kuro. Diesel's been taken over by Kuro. The mask of Kuro. I, for one, welcome anything that makes Diesel look less attractive, including covering his face. He's too attractive. By the way, there are still some slots left for uh, the Regal Tussle. You just have to join the DP Discord, go into the actual Mania room. I have a pinned comment in there, and if you want to be part of it, you just hit the thumbs up on it and then all i need is one five minute video provided to me the at least the day before the show so by the 26th of this month one five minute video that's all it takes uh and watching live would probably help too if you can't watch live that's fine but the people watching live are going to have an advantage and for if, sure if the mask of kuro gave you nightmares you're obligated to tell us you can't hide that. Neat the moon He's back. and the stars. I know who you are. We sing from the diaphragm. Ruby Jewel sings from the crotch. There's a Phoenix theme to this. I can't, I'm not going to play all this because it's like five minutes long. But yeah, this is, uh, this is pretty great. I will rise above the silver Is he talking about Rat Lord? So there's that. Ruby Jules is back. He's in the Regal Tussle. 97% Boglum. He's You and part I in a wrestling ring. Oh. Suddenly I start to sing. 
what the fuck is going on? And he's got another song. Back at base, there's something wrong. Ben's computer That's, won't This is a real on. photo. Floating that was a real photo. in the scammer sky. 25 cringe balloons. No, I like my shack. 25 cringe balloons fighting for the title belt. Panic waves, computers melt. Mattis, I'm that glad to see the puff. podcast back up and running. Thanks for playing my new promo. I have another one. If you have the time, let's get these boys a tip train going and Choo-choo. hopefully I can get this mask away from me. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Uh, there's, It's going to be insane. You'll see surprises around every corner. <laughs> Red blew his team's fucking chance. Cobras probably shit his pants now. Take on me. Take me on. I'll be there drinking my tea. <laughs> All the things that you say is it. Life or is it just the kayfabe? Bro, it's okay. It's not too late to get your fit made. To your dismay, you're gonna lose to me anyway. Though take on me, take, on me. take me on. This is the first time we've had I'll an actual mania representative in the night ring. And a gun or two. Baby guns. This is what we've waited for. This is it, boys. This is war. Commissioner is on the line. Twenty-five cringe balloons. Take on me. This mashup. Take Dead. me <laughs> on. Video. No apples were harmed yeah. in the making of this motion picture. Damn. <coughs> we basically turned into a uh, fucked up version of Total Request Live. Is that what we are? Yeah. Yeah, so I'm looking forward to it. It's going to be crazy. Uh, round one is going to have the first eight entrants, and then we're going to have everybody vote. And then the bottom four are getting removed, and then a new four will come in, and the the top four move on to the next round, hmm. just to keep it simple. And then, like, at the end, at the end, we'll have, like, a final four or a final three, and then a final two, just, uh, but, but only, like, so when they enter in, this is another aspect of the n- luck of the draw, when... When you first enter the Regal Tussle, you're, you know, like, I'll announce the number and play their video. So, like, the people who draw, like, the highest numbers, their video is going to be fresher in everyone's mind throughout, it, the, throughout the event. Would it make more sense to do uh, 10 people instead of 8 since there's 25 people? Yeah, well, I don't know how many people there are yet, so I'm oh. just speaking in, like, general numbers, but yes. Oh. Yes. They, I'll, I'll pick, like, a good amount. Um, a divisible number. Yeah. Yeah. And then there'll be a point where we have like a final four and then a final two without adding any new people. And that'll be it. So a final five and then a final. Well, two. depending. Yeah. Yeah. Um, if there's 25. Yeah. As we, yeah. Uh, as we once suggested to fill the 25 cringe balloons. Yeah. Um, and uh, I've, I've come up with something else that should make it a little interesting, too. Um, basically, every person in the... 
every person will have a chance to to ta- to like team up with someone once throughout the whole thing and if they do it adds their score together okay um there's a way it can backfire though too which uh i guess i'll explain like when we actually do it it's it's just something to kind of like shake things up in it uh that'll be fantastic yeah yes Yeah, I'm I'm excited for it. Let's see. Um, so yeah, I'm so, my brain is a little discombobulated because I I just had to deal with a whole bunch of bullshit getting the internet working again. Um but we're back, the computer's back, everything's good. Don't forget about our um our fundraiser we have the computer but i'm still paying off debt from it because i i just took on the debt really quick to get everything uh up and running and there's more uh upgrades coming up down the road so feel free uh link down in the description if you want to if you want to help we're gonna get one of those vibrators that you guys can control through donations and have it implanted in one of our butts, but you won't be able to know whose butt until you donate. Those are the illegal upgrades. Yeah. Ooh. Ben, you seem to have had all the fun tonight. What do you mean? Are you are you out of fun? Did you take all the fun tonight? Yeah, whatever all the fun means. It's it's it's, it's gone. We're out of fun. I'm uh, all out of fun. We've taken all the fun tonight, guys. All the fun. Um, we got to seventeen percent of the goal, which is good. That's fun. Yeah. Uh, we'll be back again tomorrow, which is also fun. Um, and then we'll be back again the day after that. So we got a lot of fun to get through. Uh, so I think we're gonna we're gonna wrap this one up. Everybody, we, wash behind your ears. All right, we'll see you all tomorrow. Good night. you're told.